Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we'll just have a look at uh, the disassembly of a small LCD screen. Uh, so this is a three and a half inch uh, LCD. The serial number, uh, the model number is LQ zero thirty five NC one one one. So this is actually a pretty common model, and uh, yeah, so we'll just have a look at uh, what's inside. Uh, basically, it's because this one is a broken, uh, broken unit. The ribbon, the ribbon teared here, so we cannot do anything. Well, maybe it could be repaired at, uh, at the factory, and so yeah, we we'll just disassemble it and uh, check how how it's made. And before we begin, the video is sponsored by myself. I'm uh, an electronic engineer. I make electronic products. Um, which are game consoles called uh, Retro Stones, which obviously use this LCD, it's from uh, one of those. And uh, so it's a retro gaming console which uh, can emulate a lot of uh, different game systems. So if that interests you, you can check them out on, uh, on Google on, or YouTube. Uh, they are called uh, Retro Stone 2. Okay, so now let's have a look at uh, how it's made. So as you can see, you have small little uh, pins holding the metal frame. So we can start by pulling those open. I will just take a screwdriver to make it easier. There you go. Okay, so we just removed the the front cover, so it's a small uh, it's a small sheet of uh, metal which which is stamped to have well the shape of the of the outline of the LCD. So that's the first part, and then what do we have? What do we have here? So we have a back sheet of metal also that we can remove. It's also held by uh, small plastic pins here, here. We'll just go ahead and uh, try to lift that. There you go. It's actually, if you can see, the wall, the LC is going off. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, okay. So, it, it, I have not removed yet the back panel, but you can see the LCD itself, which is the this glass, uh, can be already removed. So, you can see the ribbon of this LCD. It has... It has actually two small ribbons. One is for the LCD itself, which is the glass on which you have the picture. And the other is for the backlight. As you can see, the small ribbon has two wire and it's connected to the back plane while the other part of the LCD is connected to, uh, to the uh, glass. And as you can see here, the small FPC is actually soldered on the... Um, on the main FPC, main ribbon cable. So, yeah, I didn't mention that, but this is a RGB24 uh, LCD. It uses a 54-pin uh, connector. Uh, you can see it's numbered from 1 to 50, 54. And um, so it's basically, you don't have a controller. It's uh, all only a uh, passive components here which interferes directly on the uh, on the LCD it's not like a bigger screen uh, you will have a, you will have a, a controller um, and the signal will be like uh, LVDS or EPD or something different and uh, and then it will be transformed by the controller chip to the uh, to the LCD so yeah, let's get moving. We'll just remove the the um, backlight FPC. Yeah, we'll just rip it because it does not uh, matter very much. There you go. Come here. 
So you can see this is actually where the picture will be located. So it's a glass that is uh, transparent and the backlight will will emit light and the light will go through the LCD which actually we have the the small pixels and the pixels they can change of color and when changing of color you can have an image which appears so this is the basic principle of the uh, different LCD and so the ribbon cable is actually soldered not soldered it's like a, uh, it's like a conductive glue and you see it's the the white thing here uh, let me adjust yeah you can see it's a white some kind of white white glue so it's probably a, a conductive glue and this is how the FPC connects to the glass so how this is made in uh, in industrial uh, factory so they they uh, use glasses and they have uh, a lot of different masks which are uh, like um, uh, metal uh, stencils and and they will be used to print on the glass different layers of uh, of chemicals and that will build actually what you see printed here on the glass um, you see printed on the glass you have different uh, traces it's 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 kind of like a PCB you know you have small traces and and the different uh, input signals will be directed to the different pixels so and this is all yeah print uh, printed on the glass uh, at the same time as the pixels are printed so yeah so this is um, and then the FPC is is uh, glued on the uh, you can see here removing it let's have yeah, a close view you can see it's it, it connects to the glass thanks to this uh, conductive uh, I'm not even sure it's a conductive glue actually because you see you don't have glue between the FPC and the glass maybe it just hold uh, the FPC tightly connected to the glass and yeah we can remove it completely so yeah changing the FPC on such a display is probably very difficult because well you just can't connect easily uh, the you cannot solder it on the glass it's it's a special process I don't know actually what process it is but you probably need some uh, special tools to 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 uh, attach the ribbon to the um, to the FPC, uh, to the LCD so yeah, that's basically it for the LCD part. I can adjust again. Yeah, no, that's not good at all. Let's try again to give a... I will put my hand behind. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, that's basically it. So that's the glass itself. So about the glass itself usually you have a lot of uh, Chinese company which can make you LCDs but they cannot customize the glass and the glass is actually made by big factories such as uh, LG or uh, Tianma or, or different uh, companies and then you have small companies smaller companies which assemble um, the LCD with a backlight like this and uh, the metal frame and the ribbon and so on but the glass itself is what is very difficult to customize it needs very high quantity like 200,000 or, or such and uh, yeah so so you can actually find a glass so this glass may be the same on different uh, LCG uh, suppliers because it's actually made by another supplier which is which is LG or something like this so as you can see another thing interesting is that the back of the LCD is actually glossy and while the um, 
the LCA appears to be made. Uh, and that's because they actually put a film, a plastic film on the on the glass. Let's see if we can take it off. It looks very very hard to remove. Let me see maybe with a, a cutter blade. Yeah, it's actually very difficult to remove and it's breaking it's not it's not peeling off so maybe it's actually maybe it's actually a glass which is glued on top of uh, ah come here ah uh, there we have it let's let's see So that's definitely plastic, and you can see the the, the LCD itself is is clear. It does not have a made surface. Mm. So that's I think it's how they make uh, the laptop screens look matte on the, you know, on most. Uh, there's actually no glue. It's like it's not sticky on anything. It's it may hold only by uh, electrostatic. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about that. But so yeah, it's definitely a, a plastic sheet which is on top of the uh, of the LCD itself. And yeah, I, I I don't know if you can see on camera. I don't think so. But um, now now that I remove the plastic, I can definitely see the individual pixels on the glass. So yeah, so yeah, that's the pretty much it for the uh, for the uh, glass part now we'll have a look at the at the backlight itself so so as i said you have you have uh, a back metal uh, plate which we can remove actually it seems so we'll try to remove it from the plastic frame there There you go. So, so yeah. Actually, I I don't know what's the point of this metal frame. They could because here you have this is plastic, and it's like an injection molded part. Let me adjust. So this means this is a frame, a plastic frame, which is injected. So I don't understand why they they put a metal frame on top of that. Because it, 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 it actually just increased the total thickness and the weight of the uh, display. O obviously it increased the, um, the strength of uh, the strength of the display because this is metal. It's harder than uh, just the plastic, but, but it adds cost. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure why they, they apply that. They could just stick the uh, LCD on top of the, um, of the backlight uh, plastic I think yeah and sometimes we can see LCD displays which actually looks like this with just the plastic back and and the LCD directly on that so yeah I, I think that's yeah I'm not sure what's the the, the point of, uh, of that so let's have a look at the uh, at the LED at the backlights it it looks like it's all glued so we'll we'll have to rip it open uh, but let's try to peel it here yeah there we, there there we go so yeah peeling on the 
on the FPC, it's uh, ungluing. So you can see it's a glue. And so it's made of several layers. As you can see, this is a layer which I think it's used to uh, to um, uh, yeah, I don't know the English name, but it's to disperse the the light um, such that it becomes homogeneous. Uh, as you can see, uh, when you're far. It's blur blurred because the light gets diffracted, I think. Uh, maybe not diffracted. But. So, and on the bottom of this, you can see you have uh, small LEDs. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, six LEDs. And so, so yeah, this is basically the where the light comes from. So it means the light uh, gets from those LEDs and they are shine they shine uh, upward upward through through these different layers of uh, of materials and this material uh, this is like a mirror yeah you can see it's it's a strange sheet oh you have several sheets yeah that sounds about about it you have so you have three sheets uh, on top of this one uh, I'm actually not sure what each of them is doing, but yeah, they are kind of funny. <laughs> they uh, yeah, they make funny effects. But I guess the the whole point of those uh, different sheets is that the light comes from the bottom side and then it gets uh, reflected uh, to with a 90 degree angle so it comes from the bottom and then it gets reflected uh, a little bit on each on each line uh, yeah on each line it gets a little bit reflected on top and the result is that you have a little bit of light which comes from every every single uh, well line we could say so you have those different layers which are doing this and uh, and yeah that's pretty much it this is the plastic uh, the, uh, this is just plastic now and oh no 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 that's not just plastic you have an additional layer here which is actually very thick compared to the other ones so and when you have a co closer look here you can see that the LED fits in small holes here yeah they fit in those small holes so it means the light is reflected on uh, no the light sh uh, shines through this first sheet of material it's it's very thick compared to the other layers so the light comes in this one obviously and uh, yeah I'm not sure this is maybe the layer which is doing what I was saying like reflecting to the top um the um, the light the, the the other layers are very thin this one is very thick so um, yeah i'm not entirely sure but the gl the global idea is that these different layers get well the light goes inside this layer and then it get reflected and the different layers including this one are here to make the um, the light getting very homogeneous such that when you have the LCD uh, display on top then the light is very homogeneous on the whole surface and you can see a nice picture on uh, on it so yeah that's pretty much it uh, I hope you enjoyed it and um, and yeah if that interests you you can uh, check the retro stones on the on YouTube for reviews or you can check them on the website directly which is uh, 8bcraft.com So thanks for watching and uh, have a good day